Hello everybody, it's Kevin here. I wanted to make this video to talk about the new user interface for block tanks. I'm just going to show some pictures of it because there's not a whole lot to talk about it. The rest of the game is pretty much the same. The XP bar looks a little bit different. I added some new levels. You can now be up to level 50. So here's what the leaderboard looks like with those new levels in place. But other than that, there's not a whole lot to talk about as far as the UI. So I thought I'd use this time to answer some frequently asked questions. So here we go, Block Tanks Q&A 2020. So the first question is, when did you start Block Tanks? I actually started Block Tanks on January 12th, 2016. So over four years ago. I started it as a school project basically back in eighth grade. And uh, it kind of just grew from there. Another question I get a lot is basically how did you make block tanks and how long did it take to make? As far as making it, I just used code that all other websites use and that, that's basically HTML and JavaScript. As far as the graphics, I used a website called phaser.io. I'll put a link in the description. It's a really great graphics engine for any web game. I'd highly recommend it to anyone looking to get started with just making some stuff on the web. And uh, yeah, I basically went from there. As far as the servers, I wrote them in Node.js, which is just JavaScript for server-side stuff. I host the servers mostly on Linode, but I host a little bit of stuff on Amazon Web Services. So to make an initial product, it took about four to five months to just get something working, like a very basic version of block tanks that people could log on to and just play. And after that, it was really just a matter of adding features. And that was really just listening for feedback. And I still do that to this day. Another question I get is, can you add a certain feature in the game? Unfortunately, Block Tanks is too big at this point for me to just add something for one person. And also, adding features takes a lot of time. So there's not a guarantee that I'll be able to add what you want into the game. But I'm always open to suggestions and I base a lot of my decisions very heavily around what the majority of the community wants. So if you want to weigh in on work in progress features, beta tests, things like that, go ahead and join our Discord, it's really fun. Now there are a couple of features that I get asked about a lot. One of them is, will you make block tanks into an app? And the answer to that is a definite no. Basically it's because, one, there's already a working version that you can get to on your phone. Just like open up Chrome and go to blocktanks.io and that's it, you're done. You can play on your phone that way. And I get that making an app would be a little bit cooler, but the cost of doing it, just time-wise and money-wise, would far outweigh any sort of benefits. Uh, the other feature I get a lot of requests for is private matches and 1v1ing someone, things like that. I'm actually happy to say that that is my next planned update, so stay tuned. Hopefully in the future you'll be able to just make a match and just apply a ton of mods to it, send a little invite link to your friends, things like that. Surprisingly, a question I get asked a lot is how much money do you make? And uh, basically, yes, I do make money uh, from ads and then the VIP memberships and uh, I'm very grateful for that. And I don't really want to share exactly how much that is, but it is enough to treat it like a part-time job and treat the game seriously, which I'm really thankful that I have this opportunity to do that. I get more time to work on it, more time to listen to people and improve the game. So I'd like to thank everyone for playing it and making that possible for me. The last question is, do I have other games and do I plan to make other games? Actually, yeah, I do have other games. Uh, you can find all of them at this link. It's basically my personal website. The biggest other game I have is actually a website that's a studying tool and uh, looks like this. I do actually have another game that's a work in progress, but it's very far from being anywhere near finished. It looks like this. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail onto how it works, but basically it's going to be a racing game that's based on real world map data. So yeah, new UI update coming soon. Make sure you join the Discord and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.